Some butterflies and moths hatch from the thin chrysalis and some moths also have cocoons. Do you know why is that and how to distinguish one from another? When the caterpillar finishes his eating journey, he finds a safe place, glues himself to the branch or a leaf and starts shedding its skin for the last time. This time he won't be even similar to what he looked like when we were talking about him during the last lesson. During this beautiful stage of chrysalis, metamorphosis is taking a place. The caterpillar's transformation into the colorful butterfly. Inside the chrysalis, what's left of the caterpillar or the newly transformed butterfly does not eat. It only uses the energy from the food the caterpillar consumed during the life of, the, of its own. This, the first stage of the life cycle of the butterfly or moth, can last from few days to a long few months or sometimes even nearly a year. It of course depends on the butterfly or the moth species and the season of the year. Chrysalis is by no question the most strange and also most interesting stage of the butterfly life cycle. From the outside, it looks like the strange looking butterfly caterpillar just hangs and do nothing else. However, all the activity inside is invisible. Inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar disintegrates and transforms into a completely different animal, which after a while will carefully stretch its crumpled wings from its pupa and start sipping nectar, nectar from a wild flowers. During the transformation inside the pupa, caterpillar becomes one shapeless thing with only some nerves and organs left. Little by little, butterfly head and wings are being formed and finally the butterfly hatches. Many people, while seeing a chrysalis, says it's a cocoon, which is not true. So we want to explain the difference between the chrysalis and the cocoon. Cocoon is an extra layer on top of the chrysalis. Only some of the species has it. Usually cocoon is being used by the moths who stays in this stage for a longer period, like few months or even 10 of them. Cocoons are keeping them safe and the temperature and humidity is less various during the months of the first stage. It also keeps the chrysalis safe from the predators. Some of the cocoons are really hard to squeeze in the hands. In our exhibition, we usually show the cocoon of African moon moth. To squeeze it, it can be a challenge not only for kids, but for strong adults as well. Cocoon is made entirely by the caterpillar. He makes it just because it becomes a chrysalis. Caterpillars use thin threads from their saliva glands, sometimes wrapping inside some sticks or leaves which he finds around him, so the job of the weaving the cocoon will be faster.